In the South Bay, more than 20,000 people took part in a march in San Jose. Organizers hope the event inspires people to register to vote and to become politically active. Marchers came from all different age groups. They included teenage students saying that they're concerned about the Trump administration policies and the country's future. KPX 5's Devin Feely was at the San Jose March. We'll have his report coming up at 6.30. In Oakland, another huge crowd took to the streets, marching to Frank Agawa Plaza from Lake Merritt. KPX 5's Jackie Ward continues our coverage in Oakland. Jackie. Juliet, so many people came out today for so many reasons. Of course, the big one was to defend women's rights, but other people came in support of Dreamers and DACA. A lot of people told me that it, they think it's terrible that we're in a government shutdown right now, but at the same time, they're proud of the lawmakers who are taking a stand for immigrants. Just hours into the government shutdown, an estimated 40 to 50,000 people showed up to march in Oakland. Washington, D.C. is in such disarray, but it's understandable. Uh, there was always put on the Democrats as being the reason why things aren't working. And uh, now the Republicans have control over everything and they still can't get it work. Many were here to stand up for dreamers. The fact that we can't find common ground on supporting children it just to me is beyond the pale at this point. They're really um, being victimized um, and, and really the opportunity is being taken from them and I just feel like they need support and they need a voice. They are not quite full citizens. I don't want to live in a place where we have full citizens and not full citizens. I want to live in a place where we're all citizens and working together. Andrew Lee made a sign that he says symbolizes the fact that we are all part of a global community. He believes that while the government shutdown isn't anything that should be celebrated, it proves some lawmakers are fighting for immigrants. I think the opposition and the government is trying to show that the dreamers are worth standing up for to draw a hard line in the sand and um, show that it's really important that it's not just business as usual. Welcome, come on in. While the sentiment here was very anti Trump, it was also a day to recognize the voices that have gotten louder and stronger over the past year. And a reminder that these people will keep marching long after the crowds disperse today. And the support for Dreamers and DACA, those people hope that at next year's Women's March, we're able to talk about a legislative fix that Congress has come up with that saves DACA. In Oakland, Jackie Ward, KPIX 5.